Okay, so good evening to everyone that is joining us. And whew, just give us a moment and we'll be starting shortly. Perfect. Hi, Ashley. Hey, Christina. Hey. Okay, so to everyone that's joining us, of course, you know the drill. Just tell us where you're getting us from and uh, we'll be able to say hi to you as the chat goes on. We're just waiting for Taonga to connect and uh, we will be able to start immediately after that. So to everyone that is... Uh, Meeting Ashley for the first time. Ashley, say hi to everyone. Hi guys, what's up? <laughs> and to people that may not know who Ashley is, just tell us a bit about yourself and okay, where you're talking to us right now. <laughs> okay, so my name is Martha Ashley Nakazwe and I am Zambian, but currently in South Africa. I am living here as, um, a freelance journalist. I am trying to get into the sports industry, so learning as much as I can from here. And sometimes I'm home, so I also learn from home as well. But yeah, that's pretty much me. Amazing. And how does it feel to join the guys? Because, okay, now there's a couple of females, yes, of course, in the industry, but you know it's basically male dominated. And how does it feel? Because now you get to work with so many guys. You know what, when I was joining, when I, when I decided to join the industry, I told myself, I'm going to do something of uh, joining guys. I told myself, because I'm here in South Africa, there's like so many yeah. women, not, not as much as the male, but at the end of the day, I told myself, I will look at the female first. So I, yeah, I just told myself, okay, I'm amongst the women and that's it. We are all food, football journalists, broadcasters, whatever. We're all in the industry together, male or female. But I joined as a female and I'm like, yeah. Amazing. And uh, what are you, ex how, how far do you want to go in your career? Like, is this something that you just want to get into completely or do you want to do something else on the side? I'm, I'm fascinated not just with uh, journalism, as in football journalism, sports journalism, but I have keen interest in the sports yeah. market as well. I, I'm just fascinated with um, the marketing aspects, the brand management that happens in football and all other sports fraternities. So yeah, not just journalism, but marketing as well. Amazing. So I can see a couple of people who are connecting and um, we're trying to work something out. I hope it actually works out that you guys actually get to win something like last week. So to all those that are coming in, know what to do. So there'll be a question at the end of the show and then we'll see if you'll be able to win uh, a little bit of something. So I can see Mapalo. Mapalo says, um, I'm not sure if it's he or she is watching from Lusaka. We've got Kalma Mwansa from Kalumbila. Hi, Kalma. We've got Nyerenda Aida, who says, evening, watching from Muflira. We've got Jeremiah. Jeremiah says, watching from Mandola. We've got Ernest. Ernest is watching from Serenje. Oh, amazing. And uh, we've got Augustine. Augustine says he's watching from Lusaka. And to everyone else that's joining us, as you keep coming in, just send us those. Um, messages or the comment that just type in our comment section and tell us where you're actually watching us from and we will definitely be able to say hi to you and uh, ensure that you look out for what we have for you at the end of it bright hi bright how are you so how's the weather over that side ashley it's very cold there's a cold front uh this week it started yesterday up until saturday so it's pretty much cold Ish. Okay. We, we fimba, fimba, fimba. 
we've got Gwen. Hi, Gwen. Gwen is Hi, watching. Gwen. <laughs> My babe. <laughs> we've got Lloyd Malambo. Hi, Lloyd. It's good to see you. And then we've got Muyawa watching from Lusaka in Matero. You know, my grandma used to live in Matero, so I'm basically like a Matero kid. In fact, not even Matero, Chingwele. Hey. Hey. That deep. <laughs> that deep. Serious. So, yeah. And we've got uh, Benson Kolala. Hi, Benson. It's good to see that you're watching. So, right now, the last person we're waiting to connect is actually finally connecting and we can be able to get the show on the road okay. i'm super excited about today i've Ooh. been wanting to Ooh. chat with him he's been running away from me so you know what? I, hope I, think, that... I think he was waiting for me i was excited i'm like yes yeah, somebody from my town <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he just said, I think if no one from my town is going to do it, it won't yeah. happen. So we're actually yeah. getting to connect. Yeah. Taonga, can you hear us? Yes, again. Good evening. Good evening. Okay, how are you? Okay, so Ashley, you could say hi and we could get started. Hi, Taonga, how are you doing? I'm fine, how are you, Ashley? I'm awesome. <laughs> okay, that's nice. Yeah, okay. Now, let's get the show on the road and this is how we start. So good evening to everyone that is joining us and welcome to the Forest Rangers live chat. My name is Christina Zulu and I am your host. Joining us today we have uh, Taonga Wembea. I call him, this is the nickname I gave, I'm calling him the crossmaster because when Taonga makes those crosses or when he takes a free kick you definitely know that you're going to get the best results from that. And right? we've got Ashley, a freelance journalist based in South Africa. She is joining us this evening. Good evening, Ashley and Taonga. Good evening. Good evening. Okay, I know we've already taken so much of time before we could actually start. So let's get the show on the road. Taonga, Ashley already gave us a hint to say actually from Mufalira. So would you like to start by giving us <laughs> your background about, like basically your background on where you started and how you got to where you are right now? All right. Um, as you know, my name is uh, Wimbe Daonga. I was born on uh, 11th June, uh, 1995 in Mufrida. I'm a board uh, resident of uh, Mufrida town. My parents are still staying there. I come from a family of six, uh, three boys, three girls. I, I did my primary and uh, secondary education there in Fria. So uh, I think I would say, just say um, Fria is my hometown. It's my favorite town. Okay. And Taonga, how did you get to, to start playing football, what spiked your interest in playing soccer? Uh, I come from a footballing family. Um, most of uh, uh, my uncles and uh, relatives are footballers. Uh, I'm related to, 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 to Alison Wachongo, late. Uh, him and my father, they are brothers, but I won't explain the, the word in detail. Mm. Yeah, so it's the one who, who inspired me most to, to love football. Uh, I, I used to watch him those days, though I, I was a bit young. But uh, from him is where I got that interest of football. So growing up watching him play, what, what were your thoughts? 
do you say I want to be like him? Did you ever have conversations with him saying, I want to be like you, what do I need to do? Yeah, I, I, I did have those uh, conversations. So him and I, we differed in uh, positions. By then, him, he was a defender me. I, was a, I always wanted to be a midfielder. I was a, a midfielder from my, my head days until 2014 when I was converted into a defender by uh, coach uh, Manfred Chavin. So that was the only difference. He was a defender. I loved to be a midfielder, not knowing that in future I would also become a defender. Okay. Ashley? Okay, so me, I'm, I'm excited to ask how it was playing for Maite because you know how it is. We come from the the, the team with the, the, the best history in the league. So how was it playing for Maite and Fleur Wonders? Um, uh, that's the, the, the best feeling ever. Since, uh, the, since my childhood, I always wanted to, to be part of that team. I grew up as a supporter of that team. I, I started playing for, for, for my team to that level that I also uh, was the captain of that team until I left. So there is no better feeling than being part of the mighty family. Yeah. So um, I read somewhere that the first time that you played against Mighty when you had left to join Zanako, just before the game, you were very emotional. Tell me about that. Like, why were you emotional? Like, what? <laughs> Chari Chikonko or that thing of how am I going to play with uh, my former team? Yeah, I remember that game. It was in uh, Lusaka. It was very emotional. It was my first time to play against uh, Mighty since the time I, I left. Mm. So my friends were there. Uh, I know my, my father is a diehard uh, uh, um, supporter. So a lot had clicked in. Childhood uh, team, dream team, playing against them. And the result was worse. We are at them, I think, six years. <laughs> oh my God. That was hectic, eh? Now, Chaoga, uh, before you got to Maite, which team uh, kicked off your football career? Uh, I started playing my first uh, organized football in Dijon 2. There is a team called uh, Luna Dos uh, Football Club in Mufudir, which was uh, sponsored by Luna, Do uh, Luna Dos General Hospital. I think uh, Ashley will know the hospital. Yeah, so yes. that's where I started. I played there for almost uh, two years, Division Two, until I was um, uh, selected to join uh, Mufudir Wanderers by my uncle, like I said, uh, Coach. Uh, the late uh, Iso Noah Trump is the one who, who introduced me to Flanders. He took me there. I was a little boy, uh, but he, he told me that I can manage to play Division One football. By then, my day was in Division One. So that's how I moved to, to, to Flanders. How did they approach you? So, what? what... I'm trying to get like the perfect words to actually uh, put this together. So you're in Division One playing for this other team, and your dream team approaches you to play for them. <laughs> how did you feel? And how did they come to you? Did they, was it through an agent? Was it through your uncle? What, what was it like? Oh, it was the best feeling. I always wanted to join uh, my So when I, I received that call, I was so happy. I, I was very excited that I was joining yeah. my, my dream team. So, uh, and they, they, they received me with open arms. They were saying, now ah, we have signed a young midfielder. That's how they used to call me. <laughs> the boy is young, but he, he's got talent. I was a midfielder, I was playing um, attacking midfielder eight. So straight from there, I, I was drafted into the first team from Division 2 into the first team to play in midfield for Mufriya Wanderers. 
So I was so happy. That's how my 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 life started changing from that moment. What was your toughest moment playing for your dream team? The toughest uh, uh, moment was that uh, by by that time, um, Flo Andras was uh, struggling, and all the time we we were fighting for for dedication. So I happened to to find my, my myself in the same uh, uh, situation during my first year mm -hmm. when I joined um, Flo Andras. We were struggling and we were fighting for for uh, for against the uh, dedication. So that was the toughest uh, 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 moment because it's not easy to fight litigation. Now, you're in this, you're in your dream team. You've experienced these difficulties. What team did you move to next right after Mighty? Um, after uh, uh, Mighty, I joined uh, Zanako. I went to, to Zanako in Osaka. How old were you by then? Huh? How old were you when you joined the Nako FC? I was, um, 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 I was, they are not football, yes, Christina. <laughs> I have an NRC, eh? Yeah, I was 22 <laughs> when I joined Zanaka. Okay, now you're talking about being the captain for Maite, am I right? Yes. And you are also the captain for Zanaka FC. Yes. Who captain Black Conca, yeah? My father tells me that leadership runs in our family. That is oh. it's not a surprise whenever. Okay. Yeah. Hey, hey, mama, especially follow, follow, follow. <laughs> follow the leader. Hey, Yaba. Hey, with them. <laughs> so, yeah. um, Taonga, you. We're 22 by the time you actually joined the NACO, and you actually had the opportunity to play your under 23. Tell us about that period of your life. Yeah, that was my first uh, national call up. I was mm -hmm. called to, to under 23 to playing yeah. for AFCON. Uh, by then, it was uh, the, the, there was uh, coaches uh, where. Um, uh, Faitun Simukonda, who was the head coach, assisted by my current coach, uh, Mr. Tenanta Chirum. Wow. It was the best feeling. Uh, that was my first, show, my first national call. So you've worked with Coach TC before? Yeah, in the and, early days, yeah. <laughs> yes. And now, later on in your career you, you you actually get to work with him again can you tell us about working with uh, coach tc I, I i always wanted to work with him uh, just right. in, after those uh, uh, national duties because yeah. i know he's a he's a very good coach he's a he's a technician i can say mm. he's a very good technician and uh, he's a father he he, he understands prayers huh? mm. Because he was a player, he's been a player before, so he has to obviously yeah. understand the life of a player. Yeah, yes, yes. And during this period when you've actually worked with him, what advice have you received from him? It could have been in the early days, it could have been now, that you feel has actually helped you in your career this far. Yeah, the advice uh, was that he knew that I was from um, I'm, uh, I'm Fulila. And uh, mm -hmm. Ashi knows how life is in Fria. It's not that easy because yeah. you, you the, uh, people there um, do might depend on the minds and what what. So he, he, he always encouraged me to wake up that I, I get a better future. Mm -hmm. And that's of course what you've been doing, eh? Yeah, that's what I've been doing as well. 
Okay. I'll move. There's, there's a question I want to ask, but I'll move on to Ashley first. Then we'll come back to what I actually want to ask. So we talk about your move from Zanaco to Forest. Yeah, because I actually wanted to ask, um, how are you settling in at Forest Rangers? Because I saw that you joined uh, Forest this year, right? Was it January yes. this year that the signing yes. was done? Yeah, so how are you settling yeah. in? Because, you know, there's it's a short period between when you joined and when the break started. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, uh, I think I've said to that. I can say now that I've said to Before joining okay. uh, Forest, I had to do a lot of digging. Okay. I, I, I needed to know where I was going, what's there, the kind of people who, who are there. Uh, and I'm telling you, I will not uh, uh, regret it, uh, uh, making such a, a decision because I found the happy family here. Yeah. He's okay. unit in the team. Yeah, yeah. hard workers in the team. The mm -hmm. is so, fine. so I'm very happy where, where I am as at now. <laughs> it's all joy at the top, Ashley. It's all joy at the top. Well, enjoy it. Enjoy it. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. So you're now with Forrest. Mm -hmm. And this is the one question I know people are probably craving or itching to actually ask. So why did you actually leave Zanako in the first place? I left Zanako because I, I needed more game time. Okay. Uh, by then, I... I I I was not the the first choice uh, right back at Zanaco. Um, mm. You know, issues of football. It's not always that you be you be consistent, or yeah. maybe the the uh, or maybe the person um, that I was competing with was was doing better than me by that time. So mm. I knew my worth, and I wanted to be regular. And I remember the day I told the coach number that I want to. To move, he looked surprised. He thought maybe I was just joking, but I told him no, for the coach, I want to to move. Not that uh, Zanaco is a bad team or you have treated me badly. It's just that I need to have more game time. Of uh, that's every goals that I need to achieve. Yeah. Mm. Mm. So I so my, my main reason was game time. I needed more game time. Okay. So what are you going to do differently at Forest? Uh, compared to what you did at Zanako, for you to stop getting the amount of game time that you're actually supposed to get. Because of course, there was a period when you're actually the captain and for you to be the captain, you had to be in the team. And then you got to a point where now you are a captain on the bench. So what are you doing? What are, what are you doing differently? Or what are you going to do differently at Forest to avoid what happened at Zanako? Let me say, uh, it's, it's just hard work. Uh, yeah. This spring was has to be there. And uh, we, we all know our weakness and, uh, and, and mistakes. So I've been trying to, to work on those mistakes that I was making uh, at Zanaco. That made me to, 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 to maybe fall out of the first team. So yeah. I think uh, when I came to Forest, I said, now nah, it's time to, to, to rebuild my career. I always wanted to be a regular player, and I said, yeah. ah, I don't need a big team to prove that to prove that I'm a better player. Yeah. That's how I, I came to 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 to, to forest. I knew that uh, if I go there, I will have game time and I'll work hard and I'll prove that you don't need a big club to to be special. Nice. Okay, Ashley. Okay, so me, I want to find out because we're still. Uh, going through this COVID-19 pandemic. I just want to find mm -hmm. out from you how you are coping and how you've been dealing with it because it has affected every one of us. And uh, I'm sure you were, you had to like start training at home alone. You know, you're used to training with people. How did you cope during this period and what were you doing to make sure that you maintain your fitness levels during the, the break? Yeah, uh, life uh, uh, during uh, COVID-19 has not been easy. Mm. Uh, it has been yeah. so boring, I may say. 
I miss, we, we all miss football. I miss football. I miss uh, being part of the forest family, the laughter we have at the uh, training sessions. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Mm. Okay. I miss the uh, uh, football. So it wasn't easy. Uh, you know, it's not easy to, to maintain your face. I'm just alone. Let me just rest. But we had the uh, problems uh, with friends and fitness. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Ashley, carry on. Okay. So now, now that we are eight days, is it eight days to go, right? Eight it days to eight. go. Yeah. And you are, you are playing the first game against a former <laughs> team. Are you eight? <laughs> <Almond> in. <laughs> <laughs> Hey Tonga, are you Tonga ready to play against Zanako? Yeah. I can't get you. Are you ready to play against Zanako? The first game is against Zanako at Levy, so now we play Kanya. Ah, Sana. I'm very much ready. I'm very much ready. I know I'm playing against my former team, but uh, you know, emotion, emotions will always be there. But this time around, when you see the log, you you see where we are, we are the big toppers. Zanako is one of our uh, competitors. So I think there is no room for, for emotion this time around. I'm fully yeah. uh, concentrated and committed to make sure that we carry the day on that, uh, uh, during that game, that we continue being the, the, the big toppers and uh, win the, the league by the end of, of the season. So I'm okay. very much ready and uh, I'm looking forward for it again. Okay, awesome, awesome. Oh, I can't wait to get back. Oh, I can imagine. Is she not Kumba? <laughs> are you are you guys still under lockdown? Yes, we are. We are under lockdown level three now. Wow. Uh, we'll give you updates. Just follow our social media platforms, okay? <laughs> oh wow. Oh wow! Oh, you can watch it. You can watch it on Super Sport. It's gonna the game is gonna be live on Super Sport. You know that we don't have Super Sport Nine here, Konoka. Oh, Wafia. <laughs> I can I can give you the details to my DSTV Now account. Please do likewise <laughs> because I need to catch <laughs> like. <laughs> Okay, so there's still a couple of people that are joining us and that have been following us online. So we'd like to say hi to, we've got an Ashley Lungu here. So another Ashley, say if he's watching from Lilongwe, Malawi. We've got Kriston Clinton, who's actually asking Taonga, he says, how ready are you for the game? Can you explain to him how ready you are? Taonga, can you hear us? Yes, again. She's saying, how ready are you for the game? I may say I'm 100% ready for the game against uh, Zanako. I think my, my, my fitness levels are okay. So I'm yeah. very excited and I'm just waiting for that game. And uh, Augustine Mulenga here says, please ask him if he scored against Zanako. Is he going to celebrate? <laughs> Uh, uh, sweet. <laughs> no, I, I, if I score against Zanako, I won't, I won't uh, separate. I'll give them that uh, gratitude of respect because uh, 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 I, 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 I spent three good seasons there. Good management, uh, good relationship with the players and the officials. So for that, uh, 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 I'll give them the gratitude of, of respect. I won't say break if I score. Oh, okay. I'm celebrating the moon and the moon. Room. <laughs> I've played against Zanako before, in, uh, and I, I remember I scored a, a cracker of a free kick in sack. Eh, uh, Frostmaster. Uh, from Vlaanderes. Mm -hmm. So. 
This story is this story. Hope it will defeat again. <laughs> <laughs> Well, mind, we are we are looking forward to the the game on, on the 18th. Ashley, you can go on. Okay, so now I want to. I think this question has been answered. I wanted to find out what we should expect from you, but you've said that you're gonna be disciplined and uh, you'll be hardworking. But what is it that you're gonna give? That will be very different that you didn't give us at the beginning of the season because obviously. Yeah. At the beginning of the season, there was, you know, like when you start, mind is different. Yeah. But now, there's only a few games to play. So what is it that will be very different? That will be, that will be that 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 thing. I'll 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 give my team a hundred percent commitment. Uh, I I personally have something to prove. I want to be a champion with uh, Forest Rangers. So I think okay. I'll give him, if if they require me to give him 100%, I'll give him 110% because I want to be a champion. And I, I think I'll just give them full commitment. Okay. And no. uh, one other question that I want to ask, I, I think in Zambia also, there are no fans in the stadium, right? Yes. Exactly. So are you prepared? Are you prepared to play in a stadium that is gonna be empty? Because you know fans are part of the game, make the game actually. Yeah. So how are you prepared for that? Because Yeah. Yeah, we are prepared. Me, I'm I'm prepared. Huh? I'm prepared, though it is very sad that uh, they won't be uh, fans uh, to cheer us up. Mm. But I think football must continue. We just uh, we all miss football. We need to play. Yeah. If it takes uh, 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 this decision of, of not having uh, uh, fans in the pitch for for us yeah. to 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 play the game, then let it be. We all want to be to to be playing football. We want uh, this league to come to to an end. And for me, I want to be a champion. So let it be. Okay. Now, Taonga, you know, COVID got to all of us unexpectedly. And, um, you know, during this period, we've had so many lessons to learn. Personally, I have had lessons to learn. What lessons have you picked up um, throughout this? Hi, Taonga. Just me alone here. Oh, okay, Taonga, I can see you. Yeah. Even me. Yes, yeah. Okay, did you get uh, Christina's last question? Thank you. Okay, we seem to have a breakdown. Did you get her last question where she was asking you what uh, you have learned personally during this period? Yeah, I got that. Okay, so what have you learned? Because I missed that um, part. Uh, COVID-19 has uh, taught me a, a lesson. It has made me to, to, to realize how life would be after football. You know, okay. as footballer, we, we normally depend on a, a lot of allowances, like uh, winning bonuses, what, 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 what. But now that we have not been playing uh, football, uh, things have, um, are, are, are a bit uh, uh, different. So it has taught me 
about uh, saving, trying to do some investments here and there. Yeah, mm. yeah. I didn't, I, it made me, uh, me uh, uh, realize how life would be after football because where you are not getting uh, your regular uh, funds that you are used to. Mm. Yeah, like it, it was a shocker for all of us because it just changed all of a sudden and none of us expected it. Yes. So I think the fact that you 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 you've learned something is, and saying that you've learned uh, that saving is important. That one she can Carla because to cash up my boy. You know, you know he's actually very right. I was talking about this this afternoon. I said I have learned how to sustain myself without my regular income during this period of COVID. Yeah. So when I actually start getting it, I promise yeah. to do better. I promise. I promise to be better. You know what? You pray to God and say, God, if you give me a second chance, I will make sure I save as much. <laughs> That's what this was about. That's what COVID did. It was, it was like you're pressing the restart button and everyone has to start again and do everything right this exactly. time. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Now, to everyone that's actually watching online and as the quest questions keep on coming in, you know you're free to ask Taonga anything. Now, Taonga, one of your friends wants to find out if you're married. This question never misses, eh? Everyone just asks, are you married? Yes, um, I'm married and I have a daughter. Beautiful. Okay, Baby that is great. Yes. Baby I don't have football. I don't have doctor. I don't have we are trying to get the women's teams. Hello, don't be a physician. I know the part of football because I've been there. It's not easy, and I wouldn't like my daughter to go through the same love, love, love part that I passed through. But you, you, never know, you never know where the future is going. Like you, you saw recently yep. that FIFA has also said they'll put in more uh, money, more attention to the women's football. So obviously, yeah. you never know. But yeah. Yeah. And yeah. 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 You're right. Yeah. Now, um, <laughs> Taonga, throughout your whole career what lessons would you say you've picked up that you would give a younger player out there? Um, my lesson, I, I think we have to do with uh, self-discipline. Uh, football is all about uh, self-discipline, where the coaches and other staff are not there. When you're just alone, what do you do when you're alone? Those things that will make you uh, go 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 further in your career. Do you do them or you do the things that will hinder your your career? So for for a young uh, person who would love to be a football player like me, me my first advice is education first. Um, my my advice would be football first, education, then football come in. Football is all about having the passion for the game and be at working. That is my advice. Okay, so we've got Ashley here who says, uh, watching from Mpika, talking about discipline, I would urge you to maintain that, especially that you're meeting your former team. I know sometimes uh, you lose uh, coolness, but I love your energy, crosses, and scoring abilities. <laughs> Thank you. So amazing. Now, uh, to wrap it up, Ashley, uh, you can have your last question before we okay. actually wrap it up. Okay, my last question to you, Tawanga, is um, as you said uh, in the conversation that uh, football sometimes can be unpredictable, mm. do you ever think about your life after football? Because we do see footballers that at the before the end of their career, if you have been two days, you know they, that, like for lack of a better word, I'm from the Kwa Belt South, stay back to Barapua, Mamona, and then yeah, Apo Mundu Kwata di Kona Pamurufidia, and then others have a plan whereby at the end of their career they have a they they have things that they want to do that will sustain them 
in the long run, when they've stopped getting the footballing money, the football money. So what are your plans? Do you ever think about life after football? What are your plans? Yeah, I've uh, thought about uh, life after football for, for some time. Uh, mm. I, I've, I'm, let me say, I'm, I'm lucky I've been to school. I completed my grade 12 and I've uh, good uh, uh, results. So uh, as of now, I'm planning to start uh, uh, to start doing something like uh, distant uh, learning at uh, CPU. I'm trying to to get myself into electrical engineering on a distance uh, basis. Okay. Okay. And, uh, so uh, those are my plans. I want to be an electrical engineer maybe after football. Okay. And I also have interest on on becoming a coach after football. Okay, that's fine. Okay. No, I love the fact that you're very ambitious and I've enjoyed chatting to you, especially with the Rakumwesu, Kwavolusonga, Nagwaseka. Rakumwesonga, Nukumwesu. Nukumwesu, but man, I've enjoyed my conversation with you. Now I feel left out. Hey. Mm. <laughs> Sorry. The <laughs> station. <laughs> So we've got a question here for you, Taonga. It says, Taonga, who's the toughest opponent in the league that uh, you're scared of marking? So this could be either way. So you could mention maybe like a player that you've actually faced or a team that you've actually faced. My toughest opponent in the Zambian Super League as at now. Yeah. Um, I'm a right back. So I'll mention a a winger whom I think okay. is good, and I, yeah. it, it, it was not easy. I think Augustine Munga, though he's no, is out of the country. By then, he was the toughest. For now, yeah. uh, the, uh, there is this guy from Green Buffalo who is doing very good. I came from uh, Kito Network, not being seen. I think he's one of the the, the biggest. Uh, uh, I've and, seen him uh, play. Yeah, you're right. That dangerous when that you know that if you are facing, if you are facing him on that day, you have to be on your best. Yeah, very true. Now let's do a quick, a quick one so that we just get to know a bit of uh, Taonga's personal side. So uh, this is a quick question, so you can actually give us quick answers for them. So Taonga, what's your favorite color? Favorite color, green. Okay. What's your favorite meal or food? Uh, uh, my favorite meal is uh, uh, Nishima with uh, uh, bush meat. Yeah. <laughs> hey, okay. So moving on, what do you like to do when you're not on the team? In your free time, what do you Can like you to do when you're not on the pitch? In your free time, what do you like? Can you hear me now? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I spend uh, most of my, my my free time with my family since um I I was I was kind of busy doing that uh, some time back. But now, uh, for now, uh, free time I spend it with my family and friends. Okay, amazing. So we've got Lamek Simfuko here before we get back, who's asking to say, how psychologically ready are you for the remaining 10 games as you will be uh, playing the, the top eight teams in the league? Um, psychologically, I think we, yeah, yeah, we are very ready for us to be on uh, position one. It's, it's not a, a joke or a fluke. So we know where we are. We know what we want to achieve as a team. We know what we need to do for us to do to, to be champions. So we are very, very much led for the for those games, knowing that we are playing the, the games that to enjoy to play. I mean, we know I just feel like we could start tomorrow, eh? 
Take me anywhere near us. No, you know it's actually it's not the excitement of us just being at the top. It's also just for the game to actually get back, you know. It's just about yeah. football in general in Zambia. We miss I everything can about it. the feeling. I can imagine the feeling. I'm so jealous. You have no idea. I am so jealous. <laughs> So we can send you uh we can I'm a back yale ndaka. Joseph Takundi like there's no public transportation. We we'll send you a broom Ashley, we we'll send you a broom. Please, please send me a broom and push the teleport get me out of this place. I need to be there. <laughs> okay, so was we'll, let's just say hi to the last few people and uh, I think we can be able to close after that. So We've got Kola that's actually joining us. His fellow housemate Moro Amenu. We've got Benson Charlie. We've got Zikiro Adams who's also watching. So these are your fellow friends that are actually following you. And uh, to everyone else that's actually tuned in, it's been a pleasure having you. But before we close, Kaonga your closing remark. Um First of all, I would like to say thank you for hosting me, Christine, on this uh, program. Thank you, Ashley. It's good meeting you. Uh, thank you so much. It's just so exciting. Now, huh? uh, I, I, I just can't wait for the eight years to come to to be over. I can't wait. We are waiting. Uh, we have a lot, a very long way to go. But I think. Uh, uh, I'm just excited about that the, the 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 start of the league. So I'd like to say uh, uh, thanks for for your support and everyone who has been there during my my early days in my career. Uh, yeah. For me to 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 reach the, this level, it hasn't been easy. So I will still edge on on those two things of working hard and and being a self disciplined. Do you want to mention those people who were there during the early days of your career so that they could know that you're actually talking about them? Yes, uh, uh, I have uh, coaches like uh, Emmanuel Tala back in Florida, uh, Frederick Kashimoto, uh, a coach also in Florida, yeah. Moses Kashimoto, a coach also back in Florida, uh, Mr. Adik Tembo, a coach in in Florida, uh, Manfred Chavinga, uh, a very inspirational uh, coach because he's the one who turned me into a defender. Mumba Mumba, uh, Dabi Chirufia, Bobby Musanka, uh, uh, Tian Chirumba, Happy Of Skoro. course. <laughs> mm. Of course. And everyone who has been uh, there uh, doing this or so, about them, I just want to say thank you for 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 making me uh, reach this far in my career. Amazing, Taonga. And Ashley, your closing remarks. Okay, my closing remarks basically just to wish you guys the best. Thanks, Taonga, for your time. Thanks, Christina, for this opportunity to chat with you guys. And I just wish you the best in the rest of the games. You guys are sitting at one point ahead of Napsa Stars, so don't be too comfortable. <laughs> Napsa is a very good team, and so is in Canada. That is like uh, third. So yeah. you guys have to do as much. I'm wishing you the best. Go and get this thing. I was about Thank to you. say you mentioned in Napsa because Gwen is watching, but at least you mentioned in Kana as well. So at least. <laughs> <laughs> no, because I know how Napsa is. I've seen, I've seen their games. I've, I've been watching them play. So you know, you can't, you yeah. can't be comfortable just because you're at the top. You don't, you don't know what they've been doing during this period. So I'm just wishing okay. you guys the best. Please, 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 please take care. Your fans as well should take care. Sanitize. Social distancing, this COVID-19 is very real. People are dying here. And yeah, just take care of yourselves. Amazing. Thank you so much, Ashley. Thank you, Taonga. And to everyone that was watching us, I would like to say thank you to all of you for staying 
on up to this moment. So we'd like to thank officially our sponsors, the FICO PLC, because without them, we wouldn't be able to have today's program. We would also like to thank our technical team because without them, we wouldn't be able to come to you in this manner, as well as um, our very own coach, Coach Kenan Chilumba, has always been supporting of us. As Taonga actually mentioned, we're excited for the league to resume and we can't wait to see you on the 18th. That's all the players, media houses, and you guys will be able to catch us because that game will be live on Super Sport 9. So have yourselves a great evening and God bless you. Okay. Good night. Good night. Good night.